Welcome to today's video on what's wrong. In this series, I will present you a code that is not working or following the best practice and you need to figure out what's wrong. Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss a future notification. If I switch to Visual Studio here, we have a home controller and there we are using DB context for entity framework core. In the index action, we are calling a method add villa that is a local method here to add villa to a list, remove villa from the list, and we have get villas that basically returns back the list right here. In the index action here, we are first calling add villas where we are retrieving one villa. Well, the first villa from the database, that is okay. If I take a look at the data, we have three records. So it will retrieve one villa. We are assigning all the villas in a local variable temp list. After that, we are calling remove villa here and we are returning back to the view with the temp list right here. I want you guys to tell me what will happen when we run the application and hit this endpoint. You can ignore all the endpoints at the bottom here. What I want you to consider is the application right here and tell me what's wrong. It's time for the answer. Well, if we run the application, if you tell me in templates it will be null or there will not be any records, you are kind of right but you are kind of wrong. You missed one of the bug that I introduced right here. And let me show that. If I run the application here, to your surprise, it will throw an exception. You can see object reference not set to an instance of an object. And that is because we have the list here, but we have not initialized that. And that was the reason if you try to add anything there, it will not work because the list is not initialized. With that configured, if I run the application, now application will work and templates basically will not have any record. Because we are adding one record, we are removing the same record. That's how the template finally will be empty. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now. That way you will not miss any future updates from .NET Mastery. Thank you.